Hi guys, and welcome to this new series, Kingdom New Lands. Uh, so, I've been playing uh, in the past to Kingdom. Kingdom New Lands is basically a new, um, a new version of the game, um, where the diff main difference is that in the first version you had to survive as long as possible. While in this version, uh, you it's more like cut into levels, so you have the the possibility to to progress a bit more easily. Uh, such like the first level that I'm playing now, it's is way easier compared to the Kingdom series. Uh, so you have we really have you have more time to learn the the mechanic because you don't have any manuals, uh, and so with this version, yes, uh, you you and you can discover uh, uh, new mechanic as well. So the the game is basically kind of like a survival game. So in your kingdom uh, during daytime, you have to build some defense system while by uh, at night you're gonna need to 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 pray <laughs> mostly pray i would i would have said defend but it's mostly pray uh because you have the bad guys coming and uh they're ready to kill you uh basically what they want is to uh to get your crown uh, so the mechanics are quite simple, but though it's it's uh, not that easy to play, I would say. Do you need money? No, no, you're mine already. Okay. Uh, so you need uh, you spend money to build things. Uh, two shots, and you also need basically you need to build some stuff to be able to get more money. Uh, like for example, for now I can uh, buy uh, oh, a bow and arrows, or well, mostly a bow, so I can turn uh, a peon into an archer, which I'm gonna do right away. So this guy is coming, poof, and take a bow. Uh, no, I'm too short on money. And so the archer, what they do. By night, they defend your kingdom by staying behind the walls. And by day, they're hunting. They're hunting uh, rabbits and deers. Uh, but they, st they stay close to your kingdom. And on either side, so you can buy armors to this guy. And what it does, it's given a hammer to a peon, and that peon becomes basically a, a builder. And that's the guy that that builds everything that I need to be uh, to be built, like this uh, defense system. So we are the little guy running right here. I will be dead now. And so that's kind of really the basic mechanics and more you play you more you unlock some stuff as you will see during my uh, my my playthrough and so the while the first game yeah it was about surviving as long as possible so this one is more about trying to uh, to achieve stuff as if you want to go to the next level, you need to find a boat. A boat that you need to repair with your builders. And while being careful that your builders don't get killed or your kingdom stays safe. Nobody else here? So that's, yeah, that's not quite an uh, easy task, I would say. Do I have enough? Yes. Yes. 
so let's check the other side what we have. Oh, you have money for me? Yes. Uh, I should probably upgrade this guy. Kind of useless to go over. King Town. <laughs> nice. So, uh, as you see, you already seen, of course, it's a pixelated graphic game. Uh, it's kind of the trend. Uh, I'm not a big fan of all of them. I'm, uh, I'm a bit old school, of course, because I'm, uh, I'm 30 plus. I'm not gonna tell you exactly my age, but 30 plus. And so I used to p play this kind of graphics game. Um, but. There's a big trend right now, so it's, it's coming from the people that are on my edge, that are making games, basically, um, it's a nostalgic thing. But there's some some of them uh, that I've seen, I, I, I feel like they went too far. Because uh, it just feels then that you're playing a retro game, this old game, so... Of course, there's, uh, there's some people who like that, and that's what they want. But as as much as I kind of appreciate some pixelated graphics like this one, I want to also play a new new kind of game. Like here, it's a new mechanic, uh, and that's ultra. No, I don't have super knowledge about games, but I don't recall seeing any games like that. So I, re I really, I really appreciate playing uh, uh, people making this game, and uh, I really enjoy playing it. So oh, I'm probably need. And so one of the mechanics you have to be careful on this game also is that you so you need to build stuff and like I seen here in the middle I just built a camp but this camp is basically my uh, my own place uh, so I need to turn that into a castle but in some time more I it's the full kingdom so bigger the the, the kingdom is more option I have. And while you get options, you can, like, here the wall, I, for example, I can upgrade it to a stone wall. Is it? Can I already do that? I don't remember. But, yeah, so it's a mechanic where you need to, to think about upgrading. So it's about upgrading your defense, m mostly. And also expanding, so you can expand on the right side and left side. Like as you can see, I can build. Uh, this is gonna turn into a wall, while this is gonna turn into a tower. So you need to balance this out, so you don't get killed by the monsters, and also to be able to make more money. Uh, so let's go and upgrade more. I'm a bit late on these things, probably because I'm talking too much. Okay, I'm short on money. So no, I'm probably gonna need the. Uh, so I'm already have a stone warrior. I think it was a bad move because when you when you go to the next tier of kingdom, it automatically upgrades your your closest walls into a stone wall. 
and give you also the yeah it's a tower possibility you just build the tower for you well it doesn't build for you the builders does it but i mean it uh you don't have to pay for it so i'm not too bad for now the night is coming but stuff gonna happen thank you Oh, and also you have two sides, and technically you should be attacked by both sides, which is happening in, uh, in Kingdom. But in uh, New Lands, on the first level only, I believe, you get attacked only on one side, uh, which is the easy, uh, easy level. Uh, let's make more archers. I'm too short, some money. You have no money for me, no. I should probably make another builder though, I have only one. Uh, I don't get attacked today? Where, where are you going, man? Okay, that was weird. So here we have the merchant. Uh, so that's one of the characters that is uh, helping you with the kingdom. And he's coming time to time to, yeah, to give you, a, I don't know, tax. And you have to give him a coin back. Uh, since there is no real explanation or st background story, it's difficult to know who, who is who and what's, who is doing what. But yeah, no, for me, he's a merchant. Uh, so I was thinking, yeah, to build the next tier. But before that, I probably need to build at least one more here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut two trees, and it should give me this land and transform it into uh, a farmland. Let's bring more people. So yeah, to make more people, all you have to do is to go to a uh, nearby village. Well, yes, some uh, homeless people or peon or whatever you want to call it, and uh, give you some money to uh, to train your rank. Oh, I'm out of money. And so when after you can just give a um, uh, a bow or a hammer, and it's gonna turn the into an archer hall builder. Oh, he's tired. So let's make my defense. Up oh, two shots. I'm not making great money. Uh, no, you are not hunting here. I don't see any bunny, so yeah. uh, you guys should probably need to go home. Uh, okay. Maybe there's can I grab another is nobody here? Hello. You don't want my money? Ok, 
Okay, let's go behind the wall. Bad stuff gonna happen. I like the sound effect also in this game. Like the horse. It's cool. The night sound. Yeah, it's really well, man. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Oh, they're all dead already. Good job, guys. So, Mr. Merchant. Give me some money, please. I've been playing Kingdom for for a little while, so not this one, the previous ver version. Um, and do we have enough money here? Woohoo! Oh, it still doesn't give you the the stones here. So yes, the previous version. So the uh, the enemies, uh, you had uh, so the same that you have here. For now, uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get more type of enemies later. And probably the same as Kingdom, but it's the walking one basically, uh, and sometimes they have a mask. Uh, the mask is basically their defense. It's like an armor or something. And you also have a special one, I think it's purple. Which uh, basically usually those guys when daytime comes, they just go home. Uh, they're afraid of daytime. But when the purple guy is here, they just stay. Uh, I think it happened mostly during the blue night, so it's every fifth days. Uh, when the moon is completely red, and what I mean is, if you are in, like in in danger, uh, in trouble because there's way too many people, they broke your walls and everything. What well, you're even more in trouble because they're not gonna leave. I should probably do that now. Ah, not enough. But I should be fine, right? Okay, nothing there. So, so now I have this guy here. Now that I have a bigger house. And so what this guy is doing, I'm not quite sure yet, but you just give him money. He's gonna put it back in a uh, in the castle, and he's gonna give you some money back later. So maybe he's working in finance or something. Yeah, he's making money with your money. Yes. See the moon? That means bad time. So it's every fifth day. So we're on uh, day five. And the uh, night, usually the night after, there's no attack at all. Okay, good job, guys. Uh, so, I'm gonna wait for the day to come. Should I? Or I can already make a. Uh, since I know they are not going to attack from here. Or I could just visit. 
because there is more to it. You can you can go and visit your surrounding. So now I'm it's a safe side. Yay! So you can fight the chest. But also two nine where it's supposed to have no attack. <coughs> Sorry. So it's the boat. Uh, so you need to, to build the boat to be able to leave this land and find a new one. That's quite an interesting uh, system, yeah. So it's there anything special around here? I think I'm supposed to find also an artifact that allow me to to build most of. So that's the map. Cool. Yeah, you have also to discover the map, so you can after uh, well leave this place and go to the new land. That's but that's simple as that. And once you build the boats, the boat goes over there, and you leave. So that's it for this side. It's cool. It's very safe. Uh, I can fix the boat easily without being attacked, and I can live on the same side. So let's go. I um, want to visit the other side. So there's probably an artifact on the other side that allows me to do some stuff. And there is also the portal from where the uh, the monsters are coming from. Ah, I was talking about the monsters, yeah, uh, the type of monsters earlier. So yeah, the walking guys and the purple one that uh, basically protects, maybe the shaman or something that protects the, the others from uh, daytime. But we also have the the flying type, and so what the flying type does is basically in your kingdom you can build towers where you can have archers uh, firing from those towers to kill to kill the, the the walkers or the grounders. I don't know what to call them. So as long as, there, as there's only this kind of enemy, it's really easy on these towers that kill everybody and they cannot be attacked. But after you have the flyers that come, and what those guys are doing is they come to the towers and just and they just pick your your archer off off of the towers and oh oh but already built it okay. Should I should I risk it? I'm a bit afraid now. I, I know it's supposed to be safe, but oh, the, it's past story, so we should have attacked. Okay, but that that's what you you were seeing during the and the the kingdom, the the, the first game. Because uh, the goal was to survive as long as possible, and I think the flyers come by on the whoa, I'm full of gold on the twentieth day, twentieth night. Here you are, take your money and join my rank. Okay, is there anything else? The portal. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna go there. So which, so with the flyers, it was making the game very hard. Uh, come on. So compared to this one, where you start uh, with the level one, um, we are just attacking on one side, and I think there's no flyers uh, until level three. Uh, I'm not sure how many level 
is there is on this game, maybe only four. But yeah. If you think about it, that makes it way, way easier to have a progressive uh, difficulty like that. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oops. I'm supposed to put money in here. And boom! Stone! I'm gonna. I'm full of money, so I'll take some, please. Do you want more? You want more? Whoa, it's taking everything. Yay, birding, birding, birding. Uh, give me. Oh, shit. Bring in more builders. Uh, and I'm probably gonna start building a farm. Although, here it's pretty much a hunter land. So do I need a farm on level 1? Probably not. But anyway, that's it for today guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. See you later and stay connected. Bye bye.